Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily ChatGPT and AI videos on how to leverage it for your personal and business life. And today's tutorial is going to be more of a complex one, but I assure you by the end of it, you're going to learn a bunch of stuff. We're going to figure out how to build out a zap that basically sets up if else statements, and we're going to use GPT as a way to identify which path it goes down. Now, if you're familiar with coding, then you're very familiar with if else statements, and that is what we're going to be creating in today's Zapier. Essentially, the idea of what I want to do today is I want to have an email come in and I want GBT to read the sediment. And depending on if it's negative or positive, we do two separate things. We're going to go ahead and rename this to if else uh, flow. And we're going to go ahead and use uh, Zapier's path function to start off. We're going to say Gmail as that is gonna be the trigger for this context. Obviously use whatever trigger you wanna do in your context as you're about to learn how to do an if else statement. So for us, we're gonna say uh, new email and we're gonna hit continue. And then we're gonna choose our sandbox courses account email. We're gonna hit continue again. Then we don't necessarily have to put a specific thing in here. We're just gonna say inbox as we've already sent over a test email. We're gonna go ahead and test this. So here is the email. Let's go ahead and check it out on the Gmail side. All right, so we went ahead and just sent over a mock email for today's tutorial. Essentially, we have the subject line as review for services or view on services, and then says, Dear Web Cafe AI Solutions, I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to convey my utmost satisfaction and appreciation for your remarkable services and solutions offered by Web Cafe AI Solutions. So the context here is essentially is that this is obviously a positive email, and we're going to build out this flow in order to identify that, and then we'll have specific tests or specific steps to take after we know it's positive that will ensure the best way of operating. All right, so now that we have the email done, we can go ahead and continue here. And we're gonna add the paths from Zapier. And essentially we're gonna do two paths. Obviously, as you can see here, you have a max of five paths, but that gets more complex flows. But for us, we're just gonna have an, a path A and path B. We're gonna go ahead and rename these to positive and then we'll go ahead and rename the other one to negative. All right, so we have our two paths here, but we need to add one other block here in the middle, and that is gonna be ChatGPT, as this is gonna be our sentiment analysis of the underlying email we just got. So we're gonna do ChatGPT, we're gonna do conversation. All right, so now all we need to do essentially is we can go ahead and just give more context to GPT. So we're gonna say subject of email, semicolon parentheses, and then we can go ahead and find the subject real quick. We can use this little search thing here and come up here to subject. We're gonna do parentheses again to make sure the data is condensed. We're gonna say body of email, semicolon parentheses, and then let's go get the body of this email. And we can just do body plane, unless there's some other context here. Body plane looks fine. We're gonna do parentheses again, and then we're gonna give context here. So we're gonna say context. We need to identify whether the email is positive or negative. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we spell this correctly. This is so we know where to place it for our agency. We're gonna do parameters here and we're gonna do something longer to say generate just uh, Quotation marks, positive, quotation marks, or negative. Quotation marks here, negative. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and upper model to GPT-4, as this is gonna be a little bit more complex for to really understand sentiment analysis. Obviously, 3.5 can do this, but I like going with four with more pertinent task. From here, we can go ahead and add a memory key to out, all right, we'll do sent out, and then that's just to ensure that the way it formats the output every single time is consistent. As you know, the memory key in this context is like using ChatGPT chat, but it's UI over there. So let's go ahead and see if it understands it. All right, perfect. So it does understand it. Just put out positive. And then I'm assuming just for the sake of testing it, let's go ahead and say we went ahead and removed the variable from the email. We just said bad service. And then I will never use your services again let's go ahead and see if gbt is able to interpret that sentiment analysis and we should be getting an output here of negative all right so as you see here we got our output of negative really good stuff so now we have created essentially the thing that's going to identify what path it goes down so i'm gonna go ahead and real quickly put in the variables we just had here which were which was subject and then just plain body 
or here. Go plane body, body plane. All right, so now that we have created our sentiment analysis toolbox here, we're gonna go ahead and jump to our pass function in order to ensure what we do depending on the type of feedback we get for our services. So for here, since we have positive as this one, we're gonna say only continue if chat GPT uh, assistant response message exactly matches because of the fact that we have formatted it with the memory key we can be uh rest assured that it will be either be positive or negative there isn't going to be like this was a positive email no it's just gonna be positive or negative we have identified that and then from now we should hit continue and this should execute and this should say green light perfect it does from here we're going to go ahead and back out of this path we're going to jump over to this path real quick and we're going to do the same thing so we're going to say only continue if System props message exactly matches negative. So this one should be red light and it should not continue because the fact that it is not negative, it is positive. Perfect. All right, from here, all you would need to do essentially is you can set up uh, flows depending on the context of what you wanna do. So when you receive a positive email, okay, great. Send it to the Slack channel, send it to XYZ, send it as a text message to yourself, send it to an email to this individual. If you receive a email that is negative, or not good looking, you can now use the negative path as a way to like maybe flow it out to a different sector of your business or, or function of your business. So just as an example, you have a positive email, maybe in that context, you wanna send another email to a specific individual. I would typically use the Gmail block here and build out a Gmail block. Obviously this can get a lot more complex of how we wanna approach the different paths depending on the context we're dealing with here. As always, I wanna make sure to put this zap in the description below so you can go ahead and click that right away. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like the video, it's completely free and it really helps us here at Web Cafe AI. Also, if you're a longtime viewer or a new subscriber of this channel, make sure to let me know in the comments what other kind of AI automations you're interested in. Specifically, what kind of apps are you interested in and learning how to leverage? But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.